Hello everybody, I'm Opaqueflake and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Origins Final Fantasy 2, part of the year of Final Fantasy. I'm Opaqueflake again, so you can follow me on Twitter if you'd like. That's Opaqueflake. That name again is Mr. Plow. Because I lied about Opaqueflake, I don't know. The enemies we already saw that are kind of new due to this part, I suppose. We have now a chance to face them in the bowels of Monstro. I don't know, I gave you some flashback to Monster from my Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. Way back when. But damn, these backgrounds are a lot more detailed. Then again, they are, you know, pre-rendered backgrounds in a sense. But they're actually pretty nice, man. You can feel... Well, not really feel it, but you can straight up say you're inside something. But I'm glad Maria got slapped around a bit. More endurance. Which will probably lead up into more HP. But yeah, um, gastric acids, nothing new. Nothing compared to, well, the lava in Final Fantasy 1. But hey, you got a headband. I don't know what the fuck it does, so let's find out. Helps to focus in battle. So it's better than the Titan Cell. Wait, what? I about to say, like, I lose defense? That'd be interesting. Yeah, protects against Bolt, but somehow the gold hairpin is better in defense. Well, I'm more focused on attacking right now. Since that's the main thing I need to do right now is just wail on everything. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, um, Layla is not in our party anymore. She died. I guess. I really don't remember. The party's like, Layla's not with us. Oh, I, I guess she didn't make it. That sucks for her. Moving on. Guys, like, guy wanted Dick to get sucked by pirate lady, cause he speaks like a slow, retarded person. Oh man. I'm loving that new cure sound, but honestly, I hate to say this, but when I hear. When I think of a cure sound, I can only think of Final Fantasy VII's potion sound effect or Final Fantasy Tactics cure sound. That's, to me, that's the definitive version of a cure sound, but... It's kind of hard to not say that, considering in Final Fantasy Tactics I just healed a lot. <laughs> then again, Chakra. I use Chakra a lot too. Ah, tactics. Can't wait to get to play that game. Of course, I'm hoping I have enough time to do it. Power Sash! Ooh, I already know what this is. Speaking of Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics is what taught me what the Power Sash is. Alright, the Ninja Suit. I did unequip all her stuff. Hmm. I'll give it to you. And you can have the Ninja Suit. I want you to go faster. Faster, faster, faster for Sonic X. Uh, let's see. Speaking of which, as far as Final Fantasy games go, for Final Fantasy 3, I'm having a hard, hard time deciding if I want to do the PSP version or the original NES version. And they both... It's... My reasons may sound silly, but they both kind of have uh, interesting scales to it. I honestly wish Final Fantasy 3 got the Treatment Origins gave 1 and 2, but uh, never came to fruition. They only had a, like, there's only like a spoilery, not spoilery, um, teasing screenshot of what could have been. And it looked beautiful, considering, you know, take these sprites. Think of Final Fantasy 3 with these kind of sprites, it would have been beautiful. So the hard thing I'm having to decide is, well, okay, that, let me rephrase that. What I'm having trouble deciding on if I want to do a PSP or the NES version is one, I would love to do the NES version because it's better in not aesthetics, but how it is as a game in whole. Whereas the PSP is better in aesthetics. You know, visual aesthetics. Oh man, that's just gross. And there's an old man in here. Must be Geppetto. And, uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 3? 
I gotta think of you guys as well. I mean, would you guys like looking at a black background? Okay, there's a lot of people living here. A black background in a Final Fantasy NES version with slow, 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 slow battles. Okay, no enemies here. That's cool. The slow battles, slower than usual. Whereas the PSP will have a lot quicker, um, you know, battle transitions. Well, not really transitions, but it'll be a lot quicker. There's slightly more of a story. The characters talk. There's FMVs. You know, all that stuff that people who aren't even a fans of Final Fantasy will, like, appreciate. And the power armament, I really want to give that to Furion. I kinda wish I didn't get swallowed so I could work on the daggers a bit. These aren't the enemies I want to work on for daggers, but yeah. I still want to keep the protect ring on you, but I haven't fought anything with depth as of now. I like what the NPC on the right said, you're swallowed by level and said, dude, he's, he's got fucked. Uh, proof of my identities? Ultima scroll? Wait, what? That was the right one? Okay. Interesting. So this person appears to know about Windrix and is a Dragoon himself. And since being swallowed is ignorant, not ignorant, but none the wiser what has happened. I'm gonna ask him everything, it's just something I would do. I don't know if you guys would do it, you just like, oh I just gotta find the right one. Like, nah, I wanna see. I wanna see what else he would, you know, relate to. Alright, I assume I have to show him the crystal rod. Ah yes, Gareth the Dragoon. Or Kane, if you want to call him Kane. I don't I wouldn't call him Kane. I'd, you know, call him Gareth. For some reason he's using a sword and not a spear. Isn't that just weird? A dragoon uses swords? Mm. He sucks at everything else, he has a nice shield to well sword ratio, so. Should probably focus around that. But I'm not. Learn how to use a spear, buddy. You know what, I'll give you the blood sword. And da, 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 da. let's make you useful. I have two gold hairpins? Crazy. I should give him the shield down here. Um, he is really relatively new, so let's give you the ice shield and the fire shield. Or flame shield. Not well. Nah, flame shield. Definitely flame shield. See, this is stuff I mean that I'll edit on the menus, but since he's new, it's worth uh, showing off. And he is right handed, by the way. Does he know any magic? No, he doesn't. Cure scroll, where are you? That's why I was holding on to cure. I thought I'd get him a little bit sooner, but I was wrong. Uh, yeah, now you're good with cure. I gotta level him. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but. Gareth is the final addition to your ragtag team of, well, rebels. That's fucked up, it's like, hey man, you guys can leave where the hell you want, Levite, it's alright with it, but nah, fuck you guys. I ain't letting you guys out. Alright, so back to Final Fantasy 3, while you guys read this text here. Now, the PSP version, like I said, it has, uh, you know, all that nice fancy stuff. But the NES version is very more, well, obviously the original, and it's more true to it. Because it's going to be using a fan translation, of course. The thing is, um... I wouldn't mind doing it. Or playing it. The NES version, I really wouldn't. Because I know I can use the speed up for the emulator. You know, during battles. 
It's just the battles that I'm gonna show you. You'd be like... It, it'll be really slow. If you think these battles are slow, the ones that would be showing off are rather slow themselves. There should be a free in here, honestly. One of them was supposed to offer me like a free rest or something, I don't know. I guess not. Maybe that's the Dawn of Souls version. But yeah, if you ever want to like wash away germs, you know, there's some gastric acid for you. Or it could be urea. Uh, urea is a, um... Preemptive, I guess? Form of... Urine. Damn, it just took a while, but... Not, it's been a while since I've learned the chemistry behind our body fluids, but yeah. But yeah, Garrus Sprite. It's pretty badass. Honestly, it looks a lot better than Kane's, but... This is after the Final Fantasy IV that we've known for this Famicom or Super Nintendo. So it makes sense that it looks a little bit more badass. Hello. Uh, Blue Harms. That's an interesting take on that. The only drawbacks behind the NES is that, you know, you really are... For, I'm going back on Final Fantasy 3. The only drawbacks really are, you know... It's original, it's slow, it's... Less colorful, less dialogue. Dialogue, well, the translation's a little bit different in whole. Yeah, Gareth's not gonna make it. I gotta grind him. I hate to say it, but I gotta grind him. It's gonna be so hard doing it in here. Luckily, the Blood Sword is kind of gonna help. Uh, Final Fantasy 3 again. I gotta ignore this shit in the meantime, so I can finish my Final Fantasy 3 talk. Be very useful, I would assume. Get the fuck out of him with your agility. Imagine watching this where the only background you see is at the very top where it says Cure 7. Anything there and up would only be the background of the whole game. The rest of the screen is black and the sprites. Um, the monsters are less detailed, but you know, it's very nostalgic to some people, I guess, who maybe emulated around the year 1999. I mean, that's when I started emulated, but I never really played that much of it. Again, my first experience of Final Fantasy 3 was actually the DS version. I didn't play that long. Okay, now they really want me to use daggers. Uh, but it's gonna be have its own charming sprite factor, its music. Well, to be fair, if I were playing the PSP version, that's the only version that lets you use the um, original soundtrack. And not the arranged one, because I would- I honestly like the original 8-bit track than the arranged, but like Final Fantasy X, there are some good ones that are well arranged and there are some good ones that are, you know, just regular. For me, a good example would be Seymour's Boss Battle and Bethsaid Island. I love hearing the bass in the original for Bethsaid Island and the freaking symbols when they're, you hear that clash in Seymour's name, it's like I don't know, you just, it just sounds great. The, synthesizer, the synthesizers are also amazing on it too, but I digress. Triggers, if you forget who these guys are, they were a, well, guess boss. I'm repeating myself, but yeah. Gareth, you suck so much. If only I had another wing blade for you. I'm not gonna risk giving him daggers though. That would make him a hell of a lot faster. Well, that's... Okay, it's a quick way out, then. I'm just gonna grab that item. I assume I can beat him, though. I haven't edited any battles out, so... Yeah. If you notice, there was an awkward pause or cutoff of my dialogue. I didn't want to spoil anything, so I removed it. This is still post-me, but... When you record, you gotta think ahead for not only editing, but what you say. So yeah, um, help me decide on what you Final Fantasy 3 you want to see. If you're really into the uh, vanity of enhanced graphics, 3D-ness, and range music, and cutscenes, and I guess personalizations of the characters, that's the PSV version. You want to see the original stuff that, you know, not many people will probably let's play anymore because 
people aren't a fan of 8-bit sprites. Oh man, that sounds so badass, this Terra Sword. If you want to see the 8-bit version of Final Fantasy 3, the original, where it, the only thing has changed is probably the dialogue, because, you know, translation. Then, you know, drop me comments, leave me tweets. I already told you where my Twitter is. It's at Opaqueflake. Terra Earth, sword that can cleave the Earth. That sword sounds so bad. Although, if you want to think of it, you can probably think of, uh... Ferion is holding a whole... model doll of, uh, Terra from Final Fantasy VI. But if that were the case, they would they call it the Tina doll. Final Fantasy VI. I think I'm gonna play the worst version that people call the worst. And the anthology version. I might do the Game Boy Advance, but the thing is about the Game Boy Advance games is that they're so zoomed in, I hate it. And... I don't know, I, I could tell the difference. I did play on my Game Boy Advance when I had Final Fantasy VI, I mean, I still do. I still have the game, I... you know... I love Final Fantasy VI, but if I had to choose one, I would choose the Anthology one over the Game Boy Advance one. The only reason I don't want to play the SNES one is because, well... I actually like the Anthology one a little bit more. As the cutscenes, they're nice, um, the music's just a little bit better. I know people don't like the loading times, but I'm okay with it, I grew up with it, so... The loading times you get here with every battle transition, that's normal to me. People want that shit to be instant, and like, yeah, I agree, I mean, I don't blame you. But me, I'm like, uh, well, I'm used to it, so it doesn't face me. And I edit that shit out for you guys, too. Not many people notice, but I I tend to edit out a lot of black screens, even if it's like two to three seconds, I cut that shit short. And there goes Gareth. And we're gonna kill him! Uh, maybe not. Maybe you'll survive. I hope you do. No, you're dead. Oh well. Gareth needed the HP. Really? Alright, um... Well, gonna resurrect Gareth and fight this Zone Eater. I assume that's what it is. Hold up, who is... Alright, you're close. Alright, Memo up. Let's take him out. I wouldn't be surprised if it looked like a Zone Eater. Okay, maybe not really. Honestly, this looks more like a leech than the parasites did. Which is what I assume what they were going for. Now let's do this. Let's buff up. And you're just gonna care because I need to work on your MP. I guess Fairground's not getting the buffs. Alright, we'll buff you then. We bring him back up. And I guess Guy is gonna be doing our main damage now. At least for this fight, considering he got the Berserks. Yeah, you, you hit plenty hard, but... You're pissing off Guy. You're pissing off quite a bit. You're fast, so you shoot it. You should be able to cure him in time. Even though Garrett died, I think his point towards casting cure counted. Since the whole action was initialized, and holy shit, you hit really hard. I'm glad he hit Maria though. Buddy, don't piss off Guy. Simple as that. Wow, you think he'd get a HP from fucking dying, but I guess not. This is some green teeth the Leviathan has. He needs a brush. So, fuck everyone else, I guess. But maybe they can leave whenever the hell they want now that, you know, the monster's dead. You know, that barrel worm kind of reminds me of that one parasite, that one parasitic bug that preys on fish. 
It repeats the fish's tongue and then it eats the food the fish tries to eat. Just enough to keep the fish alive. It eats everything, but it keeps enough just to leave the fish alive. So I want to grant Gareth. Definitely, definitely want to do that. But... I mean, I got to get his HP and MP up. That would be a perfect time to put them in the background. He has a nice level 8 swords already. I mean, that's probably a good time to have Firion work on daggers at the same time. It's a tough call. But fuck it, let's go help out Min Wu. Honestly, I want to see how strong these enemies are. But this music track is very, uh... popular to be used in... Dungeon- no, I don't know, I forget what they're called, but in Final Fantasy Theatrhythm Curtain Call, there's this mode where you kind of go into dungeons and you have to do, you know, respective tracks. This one usually always pops up for me, and I have, like, a bunch of tracks in my theatrical rhythm. Like, most of them are unlocked. I have some DLC songs. And that one just pops up a lot, so I'm accustomed to this track. So the enemies here don't seem that bad. Hmm. I guess I should leave. I gotta go back to Miss City and make some space. Definitely make some space. I have- I don't know what to throw away. I guess a diamond shield. Cause I haven't fought a boss that uses elementi- I haven't fought a boss that uses elemental spells. Even once. Except maybe the Chimera with Blaze, but that doesn't really count. Alright, so Gareth probably stands a chance against these guys. And using the Blood Sword will probably destroy him. Since when you use Blood Swords or anything of that manner that's vampiristic, it kind of tends to backfire. It heals them and you take the damage. It's kind of like a vampire drinking a vampire's blood. It's bad for you or something. I don't know. I didn't make up the vampire rules. If I did, I'd make a spark one. All that fun shit. Yeah, that's as far as I'm going to get to a joke about Twilight. It's just so boring and easy to do now. Like Twilight! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Well, Mini healed quick. Alright, I'm gonna explore one more f You know what? I think I'm gonna explore the rest of this floor. And then I'm gonna go... Then I'm gonna go grind them. Because in all honesty, I kind of want to play with those daggers a bit. And again, Gareth, I gotta work on his MP. And it's gonna take forever. But I'm gonna grind him around El Tire. Considering, you know, I gotta go in and out for the end for Gareth's MP. I ain't wasting freaking cottages just for him. But it's leveling up. It's already at 15. I also gotta get him down, well, I gotta get Ferion or Guy down far enough so that when Gareth can spam Cure in the, uh, in the battle or something to raise up the MP and, well, his level of Cure. I kinda hate to say it, but this game, thanks to the uh, partner introdu introduction system, it doesn't scale them to what your sets are, because it's kind of hard to do so since there's no real levels here. So you kind of had to grind them in the end, but it's not that bad because you end up grinding some stuff yourself. For example, while I'm leveling up Gareth, I'm going to level up Ferion's Staggers. And I'm also going to be leveling guys Asuna and probably Life. And Maria is going to be leveling Holy. I'll probably be leveling maybe Haste. I want to get that at least level 3 or 4. Oh boy, that's a belly. Well, I take him out, it should be fine. So, let's see how this works out. Well, ever since I figured out that freaking emulator thing, I don't even need to do the target cancel bug. 
Although if you combine them, holy shit, that's really overpowered. In fact, probably in an hour or two I could max out all the spells. Just leave that thing on fast forward, which is like six times the speed or something. Let's see, 30 frames per second and it goes max around 800 on my card. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more. It's about 24 times speed. I don't know. I'll think less about it. Let's kill these guys. It's like 23.5, I think. Because when I put this in turbo, it goes around 800 FPS. And while it's being recorded at 60 right now, it actually runs at 30. Because it's a sprite game. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it ran at 15. But, you know. Are those tiles under switches or something? Ah, sweet. Right, inventory. Inventory is a thing here. Ah, uh, shit. I already use it. You know what? It's just a high potion. Or I could do something smart. I mean, I am pretty rich right now, so... I guess I'll give him... Ah, oh, these are nice spells. I'll give him Aura. Aura sucks anyways. I'm pretty sure there'd be no use. Or it could be that one equipment that it makes it easy to fight the final boss. I don't know if one of the Final Fantasies did it. I don't know if it's this one. One of the Final Fantasies said, you know... You have like a special buff that fucks up boss. Or a specific boss. I'm not sure if this was the one. In the Werewolves, do you fight these outside Mysteria as well? On the way back from, um... The Mysterian Cave or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Um, I also fought some... I also fought another unique enemy called Vampyrus. I don't know why they call it Succubus, but that's what they named it. Maybe it should pop up in here too, but Werewolves, they're actually pretty strong. They are pretty beefy, and as you, as you saw, they hit hard enough to say, Okay, I don't want to fight more than four of these. But luckily in the overworld, you fight about... Eh, two to three. I'm surprised Gareth went first. I don't know how I'm going to level Gareth's HP, though. I gotta hit him with spells. So I'll probably have Maria focus doing holy on him. But that'll just raise his magic defense more than endurance. Joke's on you, game. I can use the high potion now. So you're giving me crap. This game just loves giving me crap. I mean, stabs are like beginning of the game weapons, so you know. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. <laughs> you gotta appreciate how funny that is. I mean, if you were to do that, if you divine, if you develop the game and you did that yourself, that should be pretty hilarious. So you want to kill these motherfuckers first because they entice. In fact, I'm not even sure we're going to survive this, if they all entice. By the way, you can tell the Lamia boss was actually a boss, because not only did you hear the boss battle music, that I said it was a boss, a true boss battle music, but you haven't seen a color respread of her since. Unlike these guys. Well, not really these guys, but, you know, the Shriekers and the Adamantoys and... Captain, sergeants, all that fun stuff. That was a good laugh though, man. You know, fuck these staff, here's another staff! Stuff like that always gets me. I think that's more funny than, you know, a game trying to be like... You know, forcefully funny, I guess. Not really forcefully, but... I find it more funny in these little quirks than a dialogue from a video game. Where it is funny, it's just, you know... I find this more amusing. Kind of like if you're playing Psychonauts. Like, the very beginning of the game, I 
I was laughing about the whole squirrel joke thing with Dugan and Rasputin and I think no, it was just them two, I believe. But I would have found this a little bit more hilarious more than that. Speaking of second lots, I always wanted to let's play that game because I had fun playing that game. I didn't 100% it. I would probably wouldn't have done so if I let's play it, but I don't know. It was just hilarious just to play. All right, so I'm grinding these motherfuckers as like the way I said I was going to. And I'll see you back in here. So yeah. Alright, got my grinding out of the way, and now I have a shade of red over my game. Because it's dark and it's lit by candles, and here's a door, and I'm gonna go in there because it's gonna be empty. But hey, maybe a new enemy, maybe, I don't know. So the grinding... Oh, Basilisk, alright. Basilisk, alright. Hate these guys. So as you can see, my grinding went rather well. Um, Gareth was actually a good candidate to hit other people and gain, get HP. Along the grinding, I, re I realized that it's pretty stupid of me to want to level Gareth's MP at this point of the game. Because he should just be a meat shield or a damage dealing enemy. And the daggers are doing okay damage. Um... In all honesty, he's alright, it's just... I kind of wish he was really great at it. But that's not the case. At least I got some HP for Maria. Garrett just kept on hitting Maria over and over. And then while she was healing up, I would have him hit Ferion or Guy. I got a lot of good magic level ups. I decided to, you know, say fuck it to Holy. I, just, I stopped leveling Holy around, like, almost to level 3. And I realized that... Um... Uh, I should have had a guy had one one black magic spell. So he could have been fire, she could have been thunder, and he could have been ice. But honestly, I think fire is the best spell other than ice being like the strongest or the best black magic spell in the game for the very beginning of the game because a lot of, you know, bosses are weak against ice. But then from there on all the enemies become really weak to all well, fire. I'm starting to level life now. For both uh, Maria and Guy as well. Because I want to kill those undead groups that run across real quick. It'd be really useful having them both cast life on them. They just die in an instant. And you enemy, an imp. Oh man, I'm gonna hate this dungeon so much. All they do is cast Confuse. Now they're raising their evasion so they keep on casting Confuse. And unfortunately, the scratch attack did not wake her up. But yeah, that's how hard Garrett's been hitting. And we're still confused because, you know, we're dumb. I don't know. As much as I should take them out, I also want to take out the werewolf. They're not that much of a threat now, but I still want to take them out. The daggers are not that bad. Um, they could be better, but they're not that bad. Oh, you're barely alive. Yeah, when Gareth crits, he crits. But you can say that with Eddie Wood, honestly. I kind of wish I had a guy level, I don't know, it's like I was talking about the three elementals, or the three elements, fire, ice, bolt. kind of wish I did that instead of just making one character be designated, because it just takes forever for them to do that. And I realize it's so freaking late. Ugh. But hey man, say la vie. I think life is actually OP in this game though. Other than resurrecting your characters at full life, there's a lot of undead enemies in this game. For like, the whole... Since they're introduced, well maybe a little bit after that, since a little bit after Joseph from there on, nothing but undead people. That's all I got to say about the grinding session I've been doing. I mean, Holy is gonna suck so bad. Holy shit, you hit way too hard. You have the undead touch. 
Of course you do, you're a vampire. Vampirette. I thought it was vampirous, but whatever. You're just gonna give Guy more HP though. Assuming he lives. I think if they die, it kinda resets the whole... Endurance, HP, gain thing. I'm just glad the game devs made these enemies weak. Anywho, for here on out, I have really nothing left best to say except dungeon crawling time and item collecting. Backgrounds are pretty nice though, so there's that. That's probably the last thing I could say or mention. I'm glad when Gareth gets confused, he just focuses on Maria. I mean, I feel sorry for her, but eh. Luckily though, Guy has a fuck ton of MP. He is a badass white mage right now. Buff mage, whatever you want to call it. Eh. Well, see you at the next item. I honestly just want to level spells at this point. Flame Lance and Flame Bow. Both uses, but I'll see you at the next floor regardless. Lava Floor time! Okay, these are definitely baits, but... I'm gonna fall for them! Man, imps are the worst! The best way to remedy that is have two in the front and two in the back, but eh, I don't wanna. Alright, now let's memo. In case I run into more imps. I'm pretty sure it's this one, but... Eh, just be wrong for the fuck of it. Man, this dungeon sucks so much, but it's because of it I'm getting involuntary good level ups from HP and, well, endurance. But it hurts so much. And it's, it's just funny seeing an enemy do like over a thousand damage to you. Just because, you know, the formula based on how a monster can attack. Alright, that's gotta be a fake waterfall. Alright, well, maybe not. Maybe the other one's a fake waterfall. Man, I gotta level Asuna up. I think in battle it has to be like maybe 7 or 8 to cure stone. Which sucks a lot to be honest, but... Eh. Also, I don't think these daggers are worth it, so I level them up for nothing. Well, kind of. But for the most part, they're pretty weak. I mean, they're supposed to be stronger, but for some reason they just don't do that much damage. I'm pretty sure a wing blade would be just as strong and they're both level 8, so... I don't know. I'll steadily level them both. I mean, there's no harm in that. Alright, so are you the fake waterfall? You're not. It's probably up there anyways. Alright, well, flame sword. That works. But this place is nothing but, you know, status ailments and... It's, it's nothing but stone and muddle, or confused, so... That can get annoying, rather quick. I honestly hate the muddles. Furion is just doing just a little bit more with the swords than he did with the daggers. And I guess kind of a new enemy, but it's our good old friend the Hilgigas. Uh, not that threatening as he once was before in the past, considering all the fucking HP I have and, well, the defense. It's still on par with how hard they hit, but still, you know? I don't even need the Ancient Sword. I'm pretty sure I could take you out with, you know, just one. Hey, there you go. Guy just like said, eh, 500 damage. Well, I could do that twice. Oh, Titan's Gloves. All right. They drop Titan's equipment. Gloves, helmet. I'm pretty sure they drop a breastplate. That's Titan related. Let's grab these items. Pretty sure they're going to be like some kind of fire item. Yeah, flame helmet. And I assume the other one's like flame armor or something. Figured as much. 
Oh, hey, we're almost there. I assume this is like the halfway point or something. Eh, I'd rather keep the tech buff. And one defense isn't that much. Ice resistant? Eh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I guess the mage got a good look at Maria. Oh yes, good music. All right, I'm gonna be quiet for this one. And I should have wore ice armor. Alright, very bulky boss, I assume. Wasn't too tough. Had it under control. Did hit pretty hard, though. Alright, I'm assuming this is gonna be a theme here. Yep. Alright, so this is gonna be a nice boss. I'm just gonna skip to grabbing all the items, and then I'll see you in the next floor. I assume there's gonna be a boss right here. Okay, maybe- okay, there's another floor, but... The gimmick still stands, so I'll see you at the ice boss, and with the items listed on the side. So you can listen to that badass boss music again. Alright, so I kinda goofed, and I killed a recolor of this enemy. Pretty quick. I didn't get to show it off, well, with my commentary or anything, but... I didn't even show it in... I figured it'd be weird to just show it in without, you know, context, but I pretty much, well, Gareth just killed him in one shot, but evil bud. There you go. But I'm not that far off from where, well, the final door is. Um, I'm not gonna list the items I got, I'll just tell you what I got. They're all ice stuff. Ice gloves, ice mail, ice lance, ice sword. There you go. Well, Ice Sword is actually called Ice Brand, but there you go. Alright, new enemies. Um, recolored lizards. At least they're not casting gaze anymore. Oh, holy shit, okay, they actually hit pretty hard and their magic hits hard enough. I mean, it's about double the damage to that were from what I'm used to, but... Okay, it doesn't really do that much damage, but... It's a step up! I mean, Flare 11 didn't really do that much damage, so... Wizards gotta learn how to cast magic from lizards, man! Step up your game, I guess. Looking at these guys make me want to play some NBA Jam, though. Because their mascot, the Acclaim mascot, had like a lizard and everything, so I don't know, it just makes me want to play it, so... I probably will right after this, though. Welcome to NBA Jam! I kind of want to do a random gameplay on that one, but eh. 
No one likes sports games. No one likes watching someone play sports games, which is weird. But they'll watch sports. But whatever. He's an elixir on guy if you're wondering why I have so much MP. So I'm assuming he's ice based so I should wear fire equipment, but eh, you know what, fuck it. I'm fine with what I got. But in all honesty, I should probably give Maria more MP. And same text. Well, enjoy this badass boss music. Because I know I will. Ice Tops looks kind of badass, but is it just me or does, you know, the Ice Storm do more damage than, well, Ice Storm? Or Ice 12, rather. Ice Storm does more damage than Ice 12. Eh. So I assume this is, what, Dark? Because, you know, Dark Flan and everything, so I, I can only assume. Yeah, Dark Flan, Red Moose, so I guess it would be a Dark Titan. So I just see at the very end, I mean, that's pretty much all this is gonna be. I wouldn't be surprised where if they did a, a Masa Immune thing. Now you fight all three of us at the same time, or all three of us combined. To have the Elemental Gigas. That'd be kind of cool though. Alright, these guys are burned up to Chris. I'll see you right outside the door, assuming there's no new enemies. I'm pretty sure the items will just be about the same, like, dark, male, dark, gloves, dark, sword, dark, helmet, and whatnot. Alright, so the items I got here were a potion, a spellbinder, silk web, Hermes, and a unicorn horn. Spellbinder is a mace. It's a little bit stronger than an ogre killer. And I'm have and I have guy wielding it. You'll see it when I fight him. Which happens to be uh, I guess a shadow gigas. Or dark gigas, whatever you want to call it. Spooky gigas!
All right, this one was a bit tougher. I think the gold hairpins probably would have been effective here, but I'm like, eh. Oh, there's more to this damn tower. God damn it. Let's check out the black ropes. Boost Intel. Well, I'd rather you be quick than boosted Intel, so let's give it to you. And I am low on mana. I only got two elixirs left, so... Gotta make this count. I hope this is the last four. All this for the goddamn Ultima Scroll. Those Gigases had so much defense, man. Oh, this is all gonna be nothing but doors, huh? I know it. It's, that's... It's gonna be a waste of time. Well, your time. Yep. Alright, tell you what. I'm just gonna skip till I find the right door. I'm gonna check all of them, but... You know, there might be an item in there or two. I'm hoping. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip till I find the right door. It seems like this whole map's gonna be nothing but doors. And I'm pretty sure the top... The second to the top left one's gonna be the right door. Yeah, the left one's gonna be a door, and then the top right's gonna be a door. I assume it's the one on the top left. The very top left you see right now, I assume that's the door. I'm pretty sure there's another row, though. Alright, so this room sucks so much. I just finished fighting some zombies, and that was like my best encounter next to the lizards I fought, the ones you saw. But for the most part, I've been encountering nothing but five to six imps every time. And I'm glad I got Memo. I really do. I'm down to my last electric too, but I should be fine. Alright. So the door I picked is wrong, but the right door is right beneath us. So let's check out what this thing is. Oh sweet! Flare! Uh, if it's gonna be six M's, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, I can I can deal with this. And you get to see the evil bud, who gets destroyed real quick. I'm surprised it survived Ferion's, you know, savage blows, but whatever. When Gareth attacked, it was like 1100 and then 700. I'm like, okay, well, you must be real easy to kill. That was real easy. We got the flare spell, so I might want to give that to Ferion. So let's do that right now, honestly. Do I want to give it to you? I could give it to Guy. Now would be a good time to give it to Guy. Yeah, let's give it to Guy. He may not have, you know, any of the elementals, but... Wait, where the hell is it? Oh. Let's put it up here. Uh, next wall. Well, under wall, whatever. Ah, I'll organize it later. I mean, he finally has something to be useful for, and it might help in the long run. Oh, new enemies too. Mezzo Malboro. So what I've noticed, these guys can't... Well, I've never had them been... I've noticed that these Basilisks can only petrify Gareth. And I think that's because he has low magic resistance compared to the rest, but... That's just my assumption. So these Mezzo Malboro, do they do bad breath or what's up? Or do they just hit hard? Man, this whole dungeon has been great for leveling up my HP though. Because of Muddle. Something that I would normally not do unless I'm specifically grinding for it, but hey man. Shh. Everyone's over 3,000. I mean, Gareth got an extra 3... Well, he got an extra like 500 rounded extra HP now, so I'm okay with it. Oh, his poison was cured. Okay, bug it. Free memo. Oh my. Whatever. Man, hourglass is not that bad. Well, at least I'm fighting undead now. That makes my fire spells much more useful. 
Uh, well, whatever. Man, Gareth gets all the status effects. At least his floor is relatively short. They even gave me a preemptive strike, so that was nice of him. Right. Well, luckily, I got an Ether from those Meso... Maboro, so... That's actually gonna help out. I don't have to use the Elixir at all anymore. Another black robe. Let's see what's inside this damn box. Oh shit, what? For a black robe? Alright, let's do this, let's do this. White dragon, huh? This dude hits pretty hard. Well, at least there's not another type of white dragon, if you know what I mean. If you don't, well... You know what, I'll probably forget. But I'm referencing Final Fantasy V. I don't think he's... I'm gonna assume this dragon doesn't have that much defense, but just in case, I am gonna check it out. And the Earthquake spell looked whatever. Alright, how tough are you, buddy? I mean, I'm glad he's hitting hard, but... For a black robe? Come on. Gotta get that Berserk to five. And only one haste, alright. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I think that's gonna hurt. Alright, not that bad. I had a feeling it would be like 300 across, but never mind. Again, only Maria? Okay, it wasn't that tough. I was treating him like it would be like a really strong fight considering how hard it was hitting, but they didn't give him that much HP. I'm a little upset though, but eh. What can you do? You think they'd put that in the flare box though, right? Alright, let's play the memo game. I assume it's the left one, this door, but... Oh hey, got it! Uh, but now I gotta check if the other rooms had items. Well, I checked and there was nothing there, so... I'm happy about that. Hey look, it's Minwoo! And of course there's gonna be a boss battle around here. But no random enemies, I guess Minwoo just scared everyone off like, Oh man, we can't kill him, he hits... He punches way too hard and heals himself, the fuck? Alright, so Joseph gets a badass death. Minwoo gets a badass death. Gordon uh, gets a badass, slow, painful death of marriage? And Layla? Well, never heard from again. But yeah, that's Minwoo. He did like a huge life beam of his own life to open that door. Crazy, man.
Neat. Oh, I should check my stats out to begin with. Alright, let's see. 69, 93. Let's go with that. Should make sure I have room for this too. Alright. This is, I assume it's gonna give us an Ultima scroll, but I don't know if it's for the whole party. I wasn't paying attention to agility. I think it went up by like four points though. So let's see, 69, 93, 27. Oh, that's a nice 10 strength increase. Eh, I think it's benefits based on what they're focused on, so I'm assuming Maria got more out of it. Yeah, she got a lot more out of it. Especially Guy. And just like that, I got the ultimate scroll. No boss or anything. Well, we did kind of fight three bosses, so the game's like, yeah, we'll cut you some slack, kid. Like the cut of your jib. So I'm gonna get fear on the scroll. Uh, Ultima. Ultima's actually pretty weak. But I discovered after, you know, beating Donald's Souls, like, why is this ult is Ultima supposed to suck? And yes, it is, but only because you suck. More about that. Well, yeah, we might as well explain it now. Ultima is based on whatever you have maxed. So, I guess the best course would be to max only three or four spells. But not only that, but your weapons as well. So, to from Ultima to be really strong, you need to max out our weapons to either 16 or 20. I forgot which it was. And max out your magic stats as well. I don't know if it's for your whole page or whatever you have currently. So, but yeah, Ultima, the Wrath of the Ancients. And if, I'm sure you're starting to notice how, well, characters are getting off. A lot of the other games kind of take some ideas from, well, Final Fantasy 2, now that I'm starting to realize it. Uh, compared to Final Fantasy 4, you know, Final Fantasy 4 had some characters that were quote-unquote off. But here it's more permanently, and honestly, I think this is more of an impact than well, Final Fantasy 4. But that's just me, man. I mean, if you love Final Fantasy 4, go ahead and fight me about it, but that's just how I'm gonna feel. And try and change my mind about that's rather fruitless. Alright, so I can go back to Mysidia or go to Finn. There's something neat waiting for us outside of Finn. I'm not gonna show it to you, not just yet anyways, but I'll let the NPCs tell you. Looks like the other guards that aren't the f that aren't on the first floor are unaware. But hey, look, it's Layla. I guess she's the only one who wasn't offed.
So there's a cyclone right outside and it's from the Emperor. And they're not gonna tell me about anything on how to do it. Honestly, I have an idea what to do. If you recall, one of our party members has a connection to, well, something that can fly. But I'll leave more to that once I, you know, get to it in the next part. With that said, then, thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy Origins Final Fantasy 2 with me at Pay Flake. Guess where we're heading to next? K-Fix Bye!